Hello, this time, we will make a swirl effect using the Niagara system. First, create a material to apply to Niagara. Next, set the material's blend mode to translucent. Next, create a text chord node and extract only the red channel using the component mask node. If you preview the component mask node, you can see that the gradient has been created. We will use this later when creating our ribbon particles. Next, use the 1 minus node to invert the gradient value. And set the width and hardness of the gradient using the power node and the multiply node. After setting the values as shown in the video, connect nodes to each other. Next, create a particle color node to set color in the Niagara system. Create a multiply node and connect the alpha pin of particle color to the gradient, then connect it to the opacity and connect the RGBA pin of the particle color to the emissive color so that the Niagara system can control the alpha and color of the particle. Finally, save and return to the content browser. Now, let's create the Niagara system. Create a Niagara system and add a fountain emitter. Change the name of the emitter to particle. In emitter properties, check local space and requires persistent ID to assign ID to all generated particles. Next, adjust the spawn rate. Next, set the lifetime, color, and sprite size of initialized particle as shown in the video. Next, remove sphere location and add velocity in cone, add add velocity, and set the value of add velocity. Next, remove gravity force, add vortex force, and set the amount value of the vortex force to make the particles rotate in a vortex shape. Next, add the generate location event for particles location information. Next, let's create a ribbon particle. Copy the emitter and create another one, then rename the copied emitter. Uncheck requires persistent ID in emitter properties of the copied emitter. Next, remove spawn rate. Next, uncheck initialize particle and add velocity, and create initialize ribbon. And after setting only the lifetime and ribbon width of initialized ribbon, uncheck the rest of the parameters. Next, in particle update, remove the remaining modules except for particle state, solve forces and velocity, and then create a color module. After setting lerp linear color in color, set start color and end color. In add event handler, click the plus button to create event handler properties. Set the event handler properties value as in the video so that only one ribbon is spawned in the particle. Next, after removing the sprite renderer and creating a ribbon renderer, set the tail material created initially in the material.
Finally, create a receive location event and get the value of the location event. It's done. Save and return to the content browser. Now place the Niagara system in the level to see if the swirl appears.